Hey everyone, Chloe Lewis here, founder of the Marmor J Foundation, and welcome to Marmor J Dow Live. It is Saturday, but this video was supposed to be for yesterday on Friday. Um, the blog post is now done for the Crypto.com user guide. So in my last video, I explained how I use Crypto.com to be able to use the Crypto.com credit card to donate to the Friends of the Care project. So we're just, we have a quick guide now to show you how you can do the same if you'd like. So are you looking for a platform to buy, sell, uh, and pay with near tokens? Um, Crypto.com is an application that allows users to buy, access, and manage over 90 cryptocurrencies anytime, anywhere, including near. Um, so there aren't necessarily that many exchanges or applications that allow you to interact directly with near tokens. Um, and so we use crypto.com because it's relatively straightforward. It allows Canadians uh, to use crypto and use near, um, but also allows people from all over the world to do it as well. Um, so this article that Bianca just wrote provides a brief overview of how to use the crypto.com app to transfer, sell, and swap your near tokens to uh, your native fiat uh, from wherever you are in the world and deposit it directly to your bank account. So if you've never heard of this before, you could just go to crypto.com and you'll be able to walk through all the steps. But the first thing you have to do is download the crypto.com app on your mobile device. So the crypto.com app is mobile first. They also have an exchange, which you can access on an application or on a website. But today we're talking about just the application. So the application is on Apple and Google, and you can sign up with this referral link. Um, this is, I think, my personal referral link. So, you know, once you uh, load up, you'll get $20. We'll get $20. We'll use that extra bonus to donate to the Friends of the Care Project, most likely. Um, but it could be a great way to kind of, you know, load up your first 100 bucks or whatever and get a little bonus if that is something you're inclined to do. Normally, this guide is for actually if we give, if we give out uh, Marma J tokens and someone wants to go, for example, on uh, Ref Finance, let's say you earn uh, 10 Marma J for writing a blog post, oops, and you want to sell those Marma J tokens to W Near and you get your 15 Near tokens and you withdraw, you have a place to withdraw these tokens. You can withdraw that 15 Near to crypto.com and then you can sell that for your native fiat wherever you live in the world. So maybe Canadian dollars, US dollars, Euro. I don't know where you live, so that's up to you. So um, once you signed up, you'll be prompted to enter your personal information and submit photo identification to verify your identity. So yes, crypto.com app does do KYC to make sure they know who you are. Uh, so know your customer, KYC, you know, anti-money laundering, all that good stuff. Um, this, protoss, this process may take only a few hours or a few days depending on your region. So it kind of just depends how their processes are for verifying people from your country. Once you're verified though, you'll have access to everything the application has to offer, depending on your, <laughs> depending on your region. So for example, certain uh, tokens can't be purchased in certain jurisdictions. That is just depending on where you live. Um, so take your some time to familiar yourselves Familiar, familiarize, oh my gosh, yourself with each of the tabs, such as the home tab, the accounts tab, uh, track and cards, so you can like track different crypto. On the home screen, you can set your favorites to track the price of your favorite cryptocurrency, such as Near, Ethereum, and Bitcoin. So for me, I pretty much only track the price of Near. I use uh, what's block for? Oh, FTX app to track the rest of the cryptocurrencies, but I like knowing the price of near on the app so that I can figure out if I'm going to potentially sell some to like USDC or Tether, so I can load back up that Crypto.com credit card and use it on uh, you know goods and services and all that fun stuff. Your home screen is also where you'll be trading and transferring your tokens. Now, yeah. Anyways, we'll keep going. So setting up your Canadian banking information. So this guide is specifically for Canadians because myself and Bianca who wrote this article are Canadian. If you're American or European and you end up going through this process and you want to write a guide or add to this guide, please feel free to write a proposal. You can earn 10 Marma J for supporting the foundation and we can, you know, make this guide a bit more thorough. Um, so go to the Fiat wallet from super app menu button 
uh, home screen wallet balance, tap transfer, withdraw, and then fiat, okay? Tap your Canadian balance and withdraw CAD, so withdraw Canadian dollars. Confirm your email used for withdrawal, make sure the email address matches your bank account. Um, you know, funds will be lost if you put in the wrong email. I'm assuming this is because they're gonna give you a e-transfer, you know? Enter a name and a phone number and wait for crypto.com to complete their internal review and they'll notify you once the withdrawal is set up. Your first withdrawal might take quite a while. I've had, I think my mom tried it a few months ago. It took her like two weeks to get her first withdrawal. The second and subsequent withdrawals are quicker, but yes, the first withdrawal might take a little while. That's when they usually go through all the, are you this person, is this correct? You know, again, KYC, AML stuff. So if your native currency is set to anything other than Canadian dollars, uh, visit the crypto.com help center to find your local currency. And then if you're from the US or Euro, you can find those guides right here. So transferring, so that's like, you know, if you wanna buy in and you know, uh, your bank account information, all that stuff. So now if you wanna transfer your near to crypto.com, like we said, maybe you'll have some near in your wallet and you wanna send it and get it to crypto.com. You got some near, you wanna send that 15, point you know five seven whatever near 120 bucks to crypto.com how would you do that on the home screen click transfer then go to deposit and you're trying to deposit crypto select near protocol from the list there's usually a little search bar so you can just search near you don't have to scroll all the way down your near wallet on crypto.com will then pop up as a qr code um, and you have an address below it you can click copy so you don't make any mistakes. You don't have to type it out. You can just, you don't have to even drag it either. You can just copy it straight from your phone and then put it straight into this area. So 15.59, hit continue, and you're gonna paste your near account straight into this area. So it'll look something similar to being able to like copy and paste something like this, right? You copy um, and then when you go to, so it'll actually look more like this, to be honest, like a little QR code and a little copy button. So you're gonna hit copy, you're gonna go to the send, you're gonna have your amount, so you know, it's five, whatever, 5.5, hit continue, and you're gonna paste it just like that. You can't send near to your own account. That's why it does that. Reasonable enough. Assuming your near token's already in your near wallet, like I just showed, you'll then wanna sign into your near wallet Click send on the next screen, enter the amount of near you'd like to send to, to crypto.com and hit continue. On the next screen, you're gonna paste your wallet address like I just showed that you copied from crypto.com and hit continue. Then you'll be prompted to allow the transaction. Once confirmed, your near will appear in your crypto.com wallet. Now this part is very, very quick. Near has about one second block times, so pretty much by the time you open your crypto.com application to check if you've received anything, it'll pretty much already be there. It takes about one second to do. We can even test it out later maybe. I probably won't do that, but we can test it out potentially. <laughs> Pro tip, on the track tab in your crypto.com app, add near protocol to the tokens you're tracking. To do that, just search near in the search bar. Like I said, as a search bar to make it easy for you. Select near protocol and click the star icon to add it to your favorites. By doing this, you'll be able to track the price of near on both your home tab and your track tab. Also, you get little alerts throughout the day if it goes down by a lot or up like by a lot. So if you have near in your app and it goes up by a lot, maybe you wanna sell. If it goes down by a lot, maybe you wanna buy back, do some trading, I don't know, completely up to you. I don't really trade much personally, so, but have fun, do your thing. Now, trading your near for Canadian dollars, okay? Navigate to the home tab in your crypto.com app and click the trade button. To trade your near to CAD, you have to actually click sell and you gotta click the token you wanna sell. So you're gonna sell, you're gonna sell the near, near protocol tokens and you're gonna sell to your fiat wallet, right? You're not selling to other crypto and you're selling to Canadian dollars, which is probably gonna be the only option for you if you're in Canada. If you're in the US, if you're American, or you're in Europe somewhere, it'll probably go from fiat wallet to Euro or from fiat wallet to USD. On the next screen, you'll be prompted to enter how much near you'd like to trade. Now, when you open it up, it's gonna say 70. 
off the bat. I don't know why it does that. 70 is actually usually the best amount to sell and give you the best price. But if you don't have 70 or you don't want to sell 70 at a time, just click the button, change how much you want to sell, and it'll be fine. Complete all the fields and trade your near to Canadian dollars. Once complete, you can then withdraw your Canadian dollars to your bank account. So now we're going to talk about how to do it. So the following steps come from this guide. So if you want like the actual crypto.com guide, go for it. You can click this button, for example, and you'll get the actual crypto.com guide. Okay. So from the super app menu button, you know, the home screen wallet balance. Okay. So from your home screen, tap transfer and then withdraw and then fiat. Okay, so simple enough. So now you have your Canadian dollars in your account. You're going to transfer them. How are you going to transfer it? You're going to withdraw to fiat. Tap on your Canadian balance and withdraw Canadian. Browse through the submission process and withdrawal limits and tap on withdraw now. Okay, insert your withdrawal amount. Select the email you're withdrawing funds to because again, in Canada, it's an e-transfer in other countries it will probably be a different setup, okay? And input your security question and answer. So it'll probably be a Google 2FA, to be fair. It probably won't be a security question and answer, but, you know, it depends how you're going through the process. See, no, a mandatory 2FA needs to be completed once you attempt to initiate withdrawal. Okay, review and confirm the withdrawal, withdrawal request. Wait for our internal review and we will notify you once the withdrawal has been processed. Okay, so it might take a couple hours, might take a couple days. It kind of depends how much you're withdrawing, whether they think they need to check with your bank to see if this is all right, but that is the process. Now with additional resources, for example, um, if you wanna learn more about New York Protocol and Crypto.com, you can go to the crypto.com app user guide. You can look at the withdrawal limits for Canadian dollar. You can look at the, you know, crypto.com health center if you have any issues. You can learn all about the near token in general, a beginner's guide to the near blockchain. If you have no clue what near is, that might be helpful for you. And we've got some Marmagate guides in general to help you along. So as you kind of go through and you kind of see your limits, your daily limit okay for your fiat fiat wallet is three thousand dollars and your max balance is ten as a hundred thousand so you know don't be out there withdrawing like fifteen thousand or twenty thousand uh near tokens or whatever in one go probably not the best idea and lead time two business days so it might take two days to get your funds out into into fiat into canadian dollars they're going to limit you to 20 uh, e-transfers a month, okay? And only 70K a month, you know, to do with fiat. And daily, you can only do two. So, you know, these are your limits. Understand them, I suppose. This is not made to be your one be-all and end-all. Um, the Marmaj Foundation, as I showed, you know, we might be giving out like, you know, 15. So maybe you do two blog posts in a month, right? So you earn 20 Marma J, that's around 31 near tokens, right? So maybe you wanna do it on a weekly basis. 31 near is $240 US. So for the Marma J Foundation, for our community members, this should work more than enough. Even if you saved up two blog posts for like five, six, seven weeks, you should not still hit that daily limit. You should be totally fine, okay? So hopefully this is helpful. Hopefully this explains how to, you know, get on crypto.com, get through the app, you know, set up your banking information for wherever you are. If you're Canadian, this is the steps. If you're US or Euro, there's guides here as well. You're gonna take your near tokens, you're gonna send them, you're gonna hit continue, you're gonna copy and paste that address from your crypto.com app. Okay, so I mean, I'll, I'll try and show it quickly. You know, when I go to my crypto.com app, okay, it says crypto.com, and then it says fingerprint to unlock. So I put my, I put my fingerprint in there, I unlock it. Okay, so let me make, you know, I always, I always forget to do this, make this a little bigger. So that's what it looks like. I'm now logged in to my 
that balance is from my crypto.com card, I'm pretty sure, but I'm logged in. And, you know, you can see my favorites. I mean, it gives you automatic favorites of like, see Cardano's on there. Cardano is not, I don't even know what that, that's there. But near Bitcoin, Ethereum, it's showing me Cardano as well. And it shows your, your, you know, your, your top gainers of the day. If you're interested in that kind of stuff, you can see, ooh, what's doing well for the day. Anyways, pretty simple. You're going to hit. So let's, let's look at the guide. What does the guide say? The guide says, go to Fiat Wallet. Okay, so we're going to go to Accounts. So we were at the Home button before. Okay, we were at Home down there. We're going to switch to Accounts. And then you can see you can have a little crypto wallet. Okay, I got my, my Fiat Wallet, my exchange. Okay, Fiat Wallet right now is zero. Okay, my you know, Visa card is 300 and something. Okay, cool, cool, cool. My crypto wallet has a little bit in there. I got CRO. I got some, I got twenty dollars in Tether. Oh yeah, last video I sent over twenty dollars. So let's do it. I got twenty dollars in Tether. Okay, right there, and we're gonna go through the process that we just talked about. So we're gonna hit transfer. Okay, boom, boom. Now we're gonna hit the withdraw. I know you can't see it very well on the screen. That's all right. We're gonna hit withdraw. Okay. Oh no, we're gonna hit sell. So when we hit sell USDT, it's gonna ask us how we wanna sell. Okay, do you wanna sell to crypto or do you wanna sell to fiat? So I'm gonna say, so you can get, or you can top up your card if you really wanted to, but we're not gonna do that either. We're gonna say, please sell to fiat. Okay, now we're gonna have to put an amount of USDT that you wanna sell. So imagine this was near. Uh, you can also hit max, right? So I can hit the button and it'll put the max amount in there for me, keeping it really simple. Now I just hit sell, okay? It'll give me a price, it'll give me some random details and information. Read through that carefully so you know exactly what's happening. And the price will only stay good for like eight seconds there you go, boom, we sold 20.62 USDT tap. Anywhere to continue and look at that. Order completed, I have no more USDT. When I go back, I will see my Fiat wallet. Let me just click it so it's a bit bigger, okay? So my Fiat wallet now has $20 on it. Pretty straightforward, okay? 20.07. Okay, so I sold, now, to keep it really simple, we're gonna just say, sell crypto, okay. Oh no, we're definitely gonna try and say transfer, withdraw. There you go, transfer, withdraw, and it's gonna say, where would you like to withdraw to? And like I said, if you're Canadian, it's probably only gonna give you one option for, I, I, I've never done this before, to be honest. I don't take, I don't use this to withdraw back to cash. Um, you're gonna hit Canadian dollar, and then it's gonna be like, withdraw Canadian dollars back to your bank account. These are all, you know, activate. I don't even know what that, what do you, request. You know, wait for our review. It takes two business days to review a withdrawal request and then receive funds. And then I hit withdraw now. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna do that. I don't wanna withdraw through here. That doesn't sound that fun. I'll just put it on my crypto.com credit card and use that to donate to something or whatever. But that's how it would work. So hopefully this video helps you understand a little bit of the processes. <laughs> oh gosh, for how to do this. Hopefully it wasn't too confusing. Hopefully if you get the crypto.com app on your phone, you'll be able to add your bank account, sell whatever crypto you want on there, get some fiat and withdraw it to your bank and be able to pay some bills. And if you get a crypto.com credit card, you can use it on Amazon or at the gas station or whatever else that makes you happy. So yeah, hope you have a wonderful weekend. Hope you're having a great time. And uh, yeah.